did it blow over there. Oh my gosh, of course. Yes, good morning. Uh, Mount Rushmore at night is amazing. Everybody should do that. Um, I'm sure it's awesome during the day. We got there kind of at sunset, so we never saw the face lit up, so I'm sure that's gorgeous too. I'm but sure it's stunning, but... Wow, you guys are talking really fast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the night program was amazing. Um, uh, they honored some veterans, uh, which was cool because I got to... So good. I got to help fold the flag. The whole night ceremony is awesome. So they have like a, a, a ranger come out and speak about the, the mountain and the sculpture and then they show a video about it and it was very patriotic and very moving and then the veterans like honored thing at the end was so great. And we switched it up. Gabellas! We did fancy, we went to Gabellas. We did fancy. We're gonna go and check out Devil's Tower and then head over to the ranch intensely so i bought a new um inverter it's a jupiter 1500 watt i was gonna get a 2000 pure sign but i don't know what i want to do yet so we got i can't see them i bought a couple 120 amp hour uh flood cell batteries switching from uh, that little one to these two big ones should be Pretty good increase. I think next week or this weekend, I'm gonna try to get that hooked up. I'm trying to track down some cable right now. Another good thing to do if I did it at home, but. I just ran out of time. I just ran out of time and, Too many and people I like to, to see. complicate my life, so. <laughs> We're gonna go check out Cabela's and. Tractor supply. Tractor supply. I need to get these. I need to get more of these cans. I tried to get them at the last one. I like these. Stand up and take up much less room in the bed. So I'm gonna get a couple of these, one for gas, and then probably three or four of the Walmart water tanks uh, for when we cruise up through Alaska. So that's what we're gonna get today. That is not going in our RV. Oh wow, what are you talking about? <laughs> you can't put this in the RV. Unless you want to strap it to the top. He wanted to get another one, but he picked it up. He was like, nope. We need this. You do? Yeah. Are you breaking it? I need to look at that green mountain one first though. Well, we got one other thing. Uh, since we mooch dock so often and run the generator, instead of getting the big power cord out to only just to dumb it down to, to 15 amp, then we can just plug our adapter on there and run a cord. Mega dongle.
our first crazy experience with wind. We just pulled off the next exit on the highway because we were getting chucked across. That was really, really crazy. Just get behind this building. Yeah, we're just gonna kind of sit for a little bit and let this weather chill out. Go the building here, we're gonna block the wind for a little bit. It looks like it's dying down. That's scary. Really scary. We've mentioned before in other videos that the whole national park system and how it started and Teddy Roosevelt's passion for, for this whole project is like really, really big for us. We just love the history about this time and, and how all these lands were conserved and taken care of. And the Antiquities Act was created in the early 1900s, which allowed a president to declare um, federal land as a national monument or as a national park. And the first thing that um, that, that was actually used on, Teddy Roosevelt uh, decided that Devil's Tower in Wyoming was uh, a piece of property that he wanted preserved and wanted to be a national monument. So in 1906, even before the National Park Service was started in, the, in 1916, he had Devil's Tower um, set aside as a national monument, and it was the first national monument, big loud truck, in the US. So cool. Go through the parking lot, come back out, and then the parking for the oversized vehicles is along the exit lane there. There's okay. a separate lane for you. Perfect. If it's full there, then you're going to come down here a mile up yeah. where the campground turn is. Okay. There's an oversized vehicle where you can drop it. Okay. But Thank you. You Thank can't park you. anywhere else. You do have to park in that area. Okay. All right. Thank you. bombing everybody here. <laughs> I love it. So we are at yep. Devil's Tower. It is in Wyoming, right? Correct. It's, yeah. We are in Wyoming. We are. Sorry, we've been going through so many states. Uh, we are at Devil's Tower in Wyoming. Um, we're going to go to Buffalo and then cross the mountain pass and go to um, Ten Sleep to that ranch. Well, we're going to go tonight, but everybody said that we needed to wait and do it during the day. So we. Whoa! <laughs> Good yeah, just hold it. Yeah, just hold it. <laughs> just hold it. Uh, it's gonna be good. It's so windy. No, 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 no. It's gonna be good. <laughs> Alright, so we, instead of doing like cool, fun things here, we ended up going to Tractor Supply buying gas cans. When he says here, he means in Rapid City, when we, where we were this morning. Here, in, in these cool in the places. West. So, we bought gas cans and diesel cans, and it's wobbly. Don't Ooh, fall wobbly over. Uh, the best part was we a, a our... We bought a metal detector at we did. Cabela's. Yes. The girls are psyched about that. Yes. And then uh, we spent the afternoon at GMC getting That's mud fun. flaps and getting uh, key fobs programmed and keys cut. And getting mad. Da, da, da. Don't go over. Okay. I'm just going to hold it. Like, so I look out the window and they're driving an RV around. Lily's like... Are, are they supposed to be driving our RV? I was like, no, they're not driving our RV. I was like, well, they're, they're right over there. Some idiot decided it would be a good idea to drive our RV around like it was some sort of regular service job. You didn't even tell us. We had to, they had to have access to the truck to program the fob that we were getting done. 
and we parked it in the spot they told us to park it in and thank god he closed it up we had the stairs out we had like <coughs> the door arm open and like he closed it right before he came inside but so he's sitting there i see him winding through all these these cars, cars with our rv he parks it in a place where you can't get it out i had to back it out of where it was uh, we were we had we had some words with management <laughs> yeah we weren't i happy. asked if i could talk to him mom's like we're here though, so that's all that matters at this point, and I don't think and he, he didn't, didn't crash the RV or yeah. do anything crazy. That was our day. Oh, and we hit our first like real windstorm where we had to pull over in South Dakota, and we saw our first tumbleweed. Yeah, it's been a really eventful day. I can't believe I it was missed exciting. it though. <laughs> Layla missed it. a tumbleweed. I don't know how you missed a tumbleweed. Because I like was every just looking at this in the yeah, world. <laughs> Eight deer today. So, so we're going to. Somewhere, and you'll see it. <laughs> All right, see ya. Look how fast I can do this, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Daddy, we're not going fast. We don't want anyone getting damaged. Do everything. Okay, I think I should go. No, no, no. We're all coming together. These trails that um, go all the way around the tower are really cool. And the views, like, it's ridiculous. I didn't even think anything about this uh, being part of the trip. I just thought we were gonna see a big rock, but come here. Devil's Tower is the is composed of symmetrical columns, which are the tallest, some more than 600 feet, and widest, 10 to 20 feet, in the world. Along this trail, columns lie toppled among the pine trees. Notice the shape of the columns. They are four, five, six, and seven-sided. Look up at the face of the tower. Try to imagine where the columns once stood. That'll give you a good idea of how big these columns are. Layla, you're going too far. This right here, baby. It right fell here? from right... This right here. There, I'm guessing. Oh my gosh, Will. Wow. Wow, it's right. Late last night we arrived in Buffalo. We were greeted by some goats on the property. Um, we are staying with my friend's mom and dad, Peggy and Lloyd, on their friend's property where they summer in their RV. Yeah. If you followed that, I'm impressed. Yeah, we are, <laughs> we are third wheel here. We are so thankful that they have allowed us to come and uh, just stop over at, yes. at night. Everyone said that it was so important that we get to see the Bighorn Mountains during the day. So that was a pretty amazing sunset last night. It wasn't supposed to be good weather. No. Um, and that's what you see there. Um, but as soon as the sun started setting, it just lit up. Yeah, we just <clears> missed <throat> like some pretty severe thunderstorms. So it made for an amazing epic sunset. Yeah, it was really neat. Speaking of crazy weather, um, that was the first time that I was like iffy about driving. Yeah, that we became like actually nervous about being on the road. And it's really hard to portray it through the video, what it felt like 
to have the RV tugging on our truck yeah. side to side. I mean, we didn't go up on two wheels or anything, but you no. could, it didn't feel right. We've been no. in some strong winds where you mm -hmm. just, you just gotta go slow. This was stronger winds. And <laughs> it was a little different. So we got off on the next exit. We, it started to die down, but we needed to eat lunch anyway. So we got behind a building and we were good. good. Cause I didn't know if something was gonna keep coming. So we right. just, better safe than sorry. We just got off the road. Yeah. A tip for wind in general, get off the road. Yeah, get off the road. And um, when you do get off the road and there's nothing to hide behind, nose into the wind mm -hmm. and it'll be a whole lot better. I know it sounds like common sense, but just one more thing to think about. As you saw earlier, we broke the ice and stayed in our first Walmart. Um, it's a little nerve wracking when you've never done it before. Sometimes you hear stories or, you know, you just aren't sure what you're gonna come across. Um, we are super thankful for All Stays and Compendium apps. Um, and the reviews that you can find on there. Those reviewers, like, thank you. Yes. All of you that review on Campendium and All Stays, you guys rock because yeah. you're helping everybody that comes behind you, and we really appreciate it. it and it, it is, in the true sense, of breaking the ice because after mm -hmm. we stayed at our first one, we it was super easy. Love it. It is not about saving money. It's it's convenience. Yeah. You know, when you're going from point A to point B. Uh, trying to schedule where you're going to stop, getting a, a reservation, and then dealing with people, getting mm -hmm. there, getting set up, pulling in, pulling out, breaking down. It is so easy to just pull into a parking lot. Right. And you're going to need stuff anyways. Right. So, it saves so much time. And if you have never pulled into a grocery store and then be able to walk your groceries out and put them away in your kitchen, it's like the most amazing thing in the world. Oh yeah. It's awesome. And we can restock. It's not just groceries. We need def for our truck. There's always things that we're restocking. We're really, really enjoying it. It's <laughs> more than I ever thought I would. Yeah, it's um it's really nice. You're probably wondering why we went across the country so fast. There's a few reasons. Um one, we don't know what our time frame is for this trip. Mm. Um, so we did not want to waste any time on the East Coast because that's where we're from and that's easy to get back to. So we wanted to get over here, see stuff we haven't seen, mm -hmm. and there is kind of an expiration date on Alaska. If you're going to get up there, you got to get over there and get up. Originally Alaska was going to be next year's plan, uh, mainly because we just, there's a lot of unknowns about, mm -hmm. and that's a big endeavor to, to drive all the way up there. but we are going to risk it because we don't know how long we can do this and I don't want to put it off because this is an important thing. This is what I've always wanted to do is go to Alaska. Yeah, you know, it's on the bucket list. It's the last frontier, you know, it's just, you build it up in your mind. I can't wait to see it. He's literally talked about it since we were teenagers, that it was something that he wanted to do someday. Yes. <laughs> so we're not going to put it off. We're going and we're excited. We want to be there for a solid two months if possible, so we're trying to get up there so that we can get those really good summer months. So that's a couple reasons why we are cruising across so fast. And it worked out. We still were seeing stuff. Yeah. Um, that's, that is another trick. I mean, being able to pull over, being able to take time to see stuff on mm -hmm. the way. Uh, and the best thing we found was do one thing a day. I mean, mm -hmm. you can't do a ton. If you do a ton, you're not going to get anywhere if you're in a hurry. Right. Um, so and you're just, not going to really enjoy it if you're trying to pack yeah. too much into one day. So we just planned one event each day, uh, just to break up the travel days. And I don't mind driving. And when he night. says planned, that's like planned me. Loosely. Used. I think we're going to go buy this. <laughs> uh, not I close enough. Think I think we're, we're going to go buy this. Niagara Falls. Should we stop? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so be flexible, be a little bit spontaneous. For some that's easier than for others. <laughs> but we never, we're never disappointed when we stop. So, yeah. you know, try to fit something in. Don't do too much. But if you, if you feel like there's a stop that you want to make, it's always been worth it for us. So we highly recommend it. Yeah. That is it for this episode. I think this is an ambitious episode. I didn't know how much we were going to film because I didn't know we were actually going to make any stops. So we started the episode. I think it's going to be two. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a long episode. There was a lot of stuff packed into yeah. four days. So we will start next episode going across the uh, Bighorn Mountains here on this property. Mm -hmm. And we are really looking forward to the ranch. Mm, and then we're going to be there for a few days and then to the Grand Tetons, which has been on my list for forever. Yeah, those are, that's like the best looking mountain range. I can't wait. See you soon.